Hi Sagittarius, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your July reading for money. If you've been looking at my readings before, then you will see, if you've been following me, that I do money, career and finance in one reading. Uh, for July, I've decided to split it up. I have already pulled your um, tarot. So I'm going to get straight into this. So sitting in your, you know, what is the current situation of your finances, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright position. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. We have the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. We have the Magician in the reverse position and we have the King of Swords in the reverse position. What it feels like here is in your current situation is that um, there is a, uh, you know, Wands usually represent communication. Um, in this deck, it's a little bit different, but it feels like you have been, Sagittarius, you're not one to talk about money, but you are at least right now in your current energy talking about money. So who you may be talking about money to is maybe your partner, husband, wife, um, could be a financial advisor, but, um, the issue is, is whatever is going on in your mind, like you have a focus of what you want in regards to money. But I feel like whoever you're talking to or getting advice from or kind of like having this feedback with, um, there is a, uh, they're not agreeing with some of the decisions you're making in regards to money. So there's communication about it. Um, currently in your situation, in your finances, we've got very slow moving energy in regards to money. And we've got you paying out a lot of um, bills in your current situation. So it looks like your your savings aren't what they like the normal amount that you would save is not there so you're kind of looking at your money your current situation you're looking at where your money is going um now the interesting thing is for you the magician is in the reverse and the king of swords is in the reverse and Sagittarius you're excellent with money uh you got a good head in your shoulders when it comes to money you're pretty disciplined and um, you, your, your money is not something usually that is that much of an issue as you get older. Um, when you're younger, uh, for Sagittarians that are looking at this and wondering, um, usually in your 20s uh, for Sagittarians, uh, you're figuring everything out, right? You're figuring out your career, you're figuring out where that money is going to come from. So you're stabilizing your financial future. In your 30s and your 40s, you're building it. In your 50s and in your 50s and your 60s, you are enjoying it. Um, and some of you are working at it a little bit more because you want um, to. It feels like you work a lot and you are waiting to retirement, like 70, to enjoy what it is that you want to enjoy. So here we have the King of Swords in the reverse and we have the Magician in the reverse, which shows that there's no kind of decision being made currently about your money situation. But it does feel like you're looking to your future and it does feel like for some of you it's retirement. For some of you it is um, planning uh, your situation currently because there's been a change in your situation and you're making decisions about money. And that is kind of, you know, what's interesting is, it's this contradictory energy right here. So I can see where you're thinking about money. I can see where you're even talking about money. I can see where you are budgeting and uh, allocating your money. But what I don't see is, um, in your current energy, is a way of bringing extra money in. Now, that may be because um, that's not what you're thinking about, uh, but it's a bit strange. It's a bit strange to have it in your current energy. Why is that, Spirit? Why, why is the King of Swords and the Magician in the reverse for Sagittarius, for the 
now I am filming this kind of mid June going and it's going to carry it's going to apply to mid June all the way to the end of July spirit can you bring for give me a clarifier on the king of swords and the magician and why they're in the reverse position one one clarifier one clarifier please they want me to go into your overall energy all right hold on let's switch it up Sagittarius so when I pulled what is the overall energy in money we had the ten of swords I asked them to clarify because again that's kind of not normally your energy and here we have the eight of swords and we have the high priestess so what this shows for some of you is that um, you've gotten out of a, a situation where where you were bound uh, you were bound to a situation and um, so there's a there's I, I really hate when I hear this in readings but because it's so repetitive and I feel like I hear it in every reading but in this particular deck it does show an end it shows that something came to an end in your life it, it shows the end of an era or an end of a chapter in your life um, and it shows where you felt bound and now you're free but 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 there's somebody else here in the in the picture so they're they're still bound but you're free and um there's this energy of we're here with the high priestess that for some of you this has to do with marriage right so the end uh because ten of swords in in this deck right here shows like the termination of a relationship so we're talking about money here so for some of you it may be relationship it could be a marriage it could be and this is why the high priestess is coming out here and being shown bound over here right so it could have been a situation that you're wrapping up but also it could be for some of you here you have been um uh, released from a from a job and employment and it is a very painful situation for you and uh that has ended but there the overall energy in your money reading is an end of a cycle end of a chapter kind of thinking about the new chapter in your life but there's a very mm, there's a very um spirit what is it uh, there's there's a deep energy of contemplation in your energy about money you're thinking a lot about money now not to say that you don't always think a lot, a lot about money Sagittarius because you do think about money um, you are all the wheels are always turning you know you always want to uh, for those of you that are financially secure, you want to continue to secure the situation you're in. You want to um, have the finer things in life, whatever that means to you. But at the same time, you want balance. But I feel in your energy, and I don't know if it has to do with money, um, it, it just feels like something else is in your energy that's affecting money. And that's why I'm talking about relationships. And that's why I'm talking about what it feels like is you're looking far into the future about um, you're looking far into the future about what it is that you want and how much money you need. In your strength position, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse position and we have the Seven of Pentacles in the upright position. So uh, Spirit, can you tell me why the Knight of Swords is in the reverse position? Can you tell me more about uh, why is this a strength for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, just need to turn this to me so I can read the energy. Um, turn it around. I'm not getting the energy off of it. Let's take a look. Okay, so again, there's this feeling of like um, a past situation that you've been dealing with that has required a lot of your energy, a lot of your focus. It feels like a battle. It feels like something that you've been trying to um, rid yourself of. It feels like something that has caused you a lot of stress. 
It feels like um, uh, it is something that you have needed to defeat. It's now sitting in the reverse position. So again, there's this kind of reinforcement about the overall energy of your reading that something has come to an end in your life. And it has to do with another person. It shows it right here. Now, that's what I'm feeling for you, Sagittarius, that it has to do with a person. But it could do, again, with this kind of fighting for your job, fighting for your career, fighting for a raise, um, because next to it here we have the pentacles. So in your strength position, you're not fighting. Uh, it's like you're going with the flow. You're going with the flow and where there was conflict about this situation, uh, like you came to a point, or at least you're coming to a point um, from now to the end of July where you just are in acceptance that uh, you're going to... You're going to work. Work hasn't finished. Uh, you you want to put more energy into um, how you make your money work for you. So you're working on how you make your money work for you. And that is your strength right now. That is what's happening in that particular energy for you. What's happening in the challenge position is we've got the six of wands in the reverse. And I've got to, again, turn this to me to get a better look of the energy. We've got the ten of pentacles in the upright position and we have the star card in the, um, in the upright position. Six of, uh, six of wands in the reverse challenge. So... Um, and it's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the and the Star card. So it feels like the challenge is is wherever you are with money, you're not satisfied. You're you're in a state of like you're not feeling um, a hundred percent about the decisions that you're making. Uh, you don't feel like it is, it, it feels very much like you're um, guarding your money, you're looking at where money is going, and you're saving as much money as, you're ca as you can. It really looks like you're saving a lot, and you're pulling back a lot, and it also feels like, again, I keep getting this relationship thing, so there's something to do with relationship where you're pulling back money. And again, I want to, it does feel like a separation. It does feel legal. It could be alimony. It could be child support. It could be um, because, you know, because I am getting divorce here. So it could be that your, your half, right, if you're co-parenting, it could be that you're thinking about the needs of your child or your children in regards to um, future needs that are coming up right now or coming up in the near future and because th that's what it feels like it really here the ten of pentacles always represents kind of um this kind of emotional investment and uh so we're not just looking at money here in your challenge position we're looking at what you're doing and i can tell that this is somebody that you love and care about because we've got the star card here right so they mean a lot to you so you're you're in the challenge is kind of getting your crystal ball out, Sagittarius, and figuring out what is needed for the future for not just yourself, not just your family, but for there is somebody here, there's something else here, and I just want to say children, for those of you that it's not children, then it has to do with your legacy in some way. So that's it that that's sitting in your challenge position because you're still ruminating you, you you're thinking about it a lot Sagittarius you're thinking a lot and don't tell me you don't think you know why you don't talk Sagittarius because you don't because all you're doing is bloody thinking and I know that there's some Sagittarius there that, that do talk but a lot of you don't a lot of you are like strong silent types 
And so the more silent you are about something, the more it's playing on your mind and the more you have to figure it out. You're a bit like an investigator. Maybe some of you are. Anyway, in the outcome, I left the devil in the reverse position because again, uh, I need to see the energy. So in the outcome, um, it's, a, it's a beautiful outcome for the month of now, uh, mid-June going into, into July. You figure it all out, Sagittarius. I mean, I expect nothing less, to be honest, because you've got a brilliant mind and you've got a really good head on your shoulders. And so, um, again, this I was talking about family and talking about something coming to an end and, and talking about your children and legacy and things like that. That's exactly what this card is here in the Ten of Cups. It shows here that you figure it out. It shows here that you figure out all aspects of what needs to be figured out and you're really sitting in a strength position. It also uh, feels like you're in charge of um, that mental energy. And you know what it is? Um, where you're conflicted about the money, uh, you know, in this kind of current energy that you're in is because you're trying to make a logical decision. You're trying to make a head decision about your heart. And what I mean by that is you're trying to make a practical decision about money, but the but what you are thinking about are the people that you love and what is needed in those situations. Um, and I just got some of you here, elderly care. So some of you are thinking about your parents that are now um, kind of, they have those needs. Um, you're thinking about yourself as you get older and, and what needs that you have. So that whether it be the relationship with yourself or family or, or whatever, you come into a strength position at the, um, that, that's the outcome. Uh, it, it does feel like you don't have to wait till the end of July to get to that outcome. I'm doing this reading mid-June, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you know, let's say Sagittarius that you don't look at this reading until, I don't know, July 15th. Uh, all of this may have already been in the past, because if you look at the date, I don't know what date it is today, June something, but um, I feel that you get this all figured out very, very quickly. And the devil is in reverse because, um, you know, the, the devil in this situation represents, um, at least in your energy here, it represents the ruminating, the worrying, the, you know, what's the right decision? How do you make these choices? What What is the right thing to do? And I can tell that you you know, like you, you drop into that heart energy um, and you, you, you go with what is needed for your family. And it's, it's so like, okay, for those of you that don't have a family and it's just you and you're single, young, free and single, you're like, this does not apply to me. So spirit, what about those single Sagittarians that don't have kids and and don't have a family, what does this mean? Because I know that this reading applies to them too. Can you give me a clarifier on the Ten of Cups? What does this mean for single Sagittarians? Whoa, God. All right, so um, what it means here is single Sagittarians, you're still, you're, you're planning for, some of you are planning for, even if you're single, there's nobody in your life, you haven't dated in five years, it's a desert when it comes to your love life. Um, even you guys, you're thinking about your future in regards to when you get married, when you have children, what are your needs going to be? Um, you're also thinking about here, uh, your own childhood and uh, kind of what it is that you want to carve out for your future. And so there are some um, painful truths that you have had to deal with in your life in regards to finances. And I feel like what you're trying to do is um, for those of you, and, and this is the same maybe for not just single Sagittarius, but those that are connected with other people or um uh, have a family and, and that kind of stuff. 
But what you're what you are doing is um, the outcome is with this ten of cups of ten of cups energy is you're trying to be uh, defensive about your money. Okay, how do I say that correctly? Spirit, how do I say that correctly? Um, uh, you're not defensive. That's not what I mean. What I mean is I don't I don't watch football. I don't play football. I don't even know what the hell is going on in football. But um, Spirit is saying defensive as in like when one team defends a goal, right? Defend, right? You're defending your outcome. You're defending your position. You're ensuring that, that you know, these, these swords that you're taking with you are like, these are already done, right? This situation that is the overarching energy for your reading where we have the ten of swords it's done there's no going back there's no fixing it there's no changing it and so what is happening in the outcome energy and this is why you come out of this kind of ruminating energy um and you sit in a very 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 strong position here is that you are um so you know how i said you were contemplating in the beginning what to do what you end up doing is focusing on the fact that you look at the past right you're looking at the past you're looking at your childhood you're looking even at your parents and what they have gone through and that's where all the relationship stuff is coming forward as well because you're looking at the situation and you're kind of like like learning from others right you're learning from what's already happened in your in the generational history of your life and you're saying, you know what? These people would be in a better position if they had planned better at a younger age. And that's what I feel that you're doing. I feel that some of what you're doing, and that's why your energy completely settles down. And that is what helps you to make that decision, Sagittarius. Because what ends up happening, and that's the heart on the head, isn't it? Bloody hell, I, I, how, what time, 22 minutes in that took me <laughs> to get there, Sagittarius. Oh, dear me. I've only been reading for 40 years. You'd think I'd get there quicker. Hey, at least I get there. Um, anyway, so what's happening is in the outcome and, it, and what settles your energy and uh, this heart and head decision is that you, you're looking at the past you're looking at uh, the at that the situation that your parents um, created for some of you that that was a very strong uh, situation for you where there was money and and there was resources for for others of you um, there is poverty right and and you have parents that ha need resources as they age and they don't have them. And so you're, you're just looking, you're just looking, you're learning, and that's how you're making your decisions. You're saying, you know what, one day I'm going to be there. I'm going to be at that age. And that's where the 70, where I had you looking into your future, it has to do with you looking at your past. And you're sitting there saying, they don't have anything, or my mother doesn't have anything, or my father doesn't have anything, and they're trying to rely on me. And bloody hell, I'm trying to take care of myself. I'm trying to keep my head above water. And how do I not do that to the next generation? How do I not make them responsible for my care and my elderly uh, situation once I get there? So a lot of thought, it does settle down. Uh, I do feel like you make the right decision because you focus on the right thing. And here we have again, right, 10, we have the 10, 10, we have 10 here, right, for your overall energy. We have uh, 10 in your challenge position. We have 10 in your outcome twice. And uh, so I hear you say, how I love tarot, what the hell does that have to do with me? Well, let me tell you something, Sagittarius, it has a lot to do with you. 10 represents the end of a cycle in um, tarot. It represents completion. And so uh, something is happening that's very, very, very significant in your life. And it is in its totality 
coming to a close. I do feel like you're closing out a chapter of your life and because there's so many tens on every level and some of it has to do with heartache and pain. I know this is a money reading, but whatever, you know, mind, body and spirit, they're, they're all bloody connected. So we've got um, a heartache from the past that you are putting to rest and situations that have bound you, um, worries, concerns about relationships that have bound you and kept you obligated, uh, in many ways kept you obligated. And um, you've made decisions because of those obligations too. And some of them are, are like some of these obligations are obligations that you wanted you know, like let's say you have to pay child support. It's something that you're willing to do, right? But it's still something that you're forced to do because if you don't pay child support in America, bloody hell, it ain't good. You can end up in prison, I believe. So um, so what's happening here is with all these tens, you're, in, in regards to money, spirit, bring it, bring it forward in regards to money, because I am doing a money reading, and I did tell them I was going to try and just do a money reading, so help me out here, tell me about all the tens, why is the ten so significant for Sagittarius, oh, you're going back to self, so 10 in numerology is, uh, you add the numbers, one and zero, and it equals one, so you're on a very, uh, you've switched, you, you switched your, uh, your dynamic switching up in the month of June and July, and you're having a shift that has been a long time in the making. And I feel that you've been going through this process for many years. That's what spirit is showing me. And so this is why it's showing up on every, it's showing up in your overall energy it's showing up in your strength position and it's showing up twice in your outcome. And the thing is, is that it's taken you a long time to get to this point where you are letting go of um, hurt and pain and difficult situations regarding money. Your, um, you know, because the thing is, is one of, and I'm just going to give you an example because it comes, it's coming in so strongly. So if there has been a divorce in your life, um, consciously or unconsciously, you have been making decisions about money. And again, right, we have this defensive energy right here, but in, the def in, in, in not like a football game where it's good to defend your position, but in the opposite where you're being defensive, right? And so you're reactive. And so that's coming to an end now because um, I feel like you're shifting your consciousness in regards to these relationships that have been loving relationships, but painful relationships. And you are, you know, when it comes to your money and it comes to the situation, uh, where you gravitate to is family, that's that's where all the energy begins to drop down, calm you down. And right here we have the Ten of Wands and um, very, very significant energy for you, Sagittarius, when, when it comes to money. Because you give up the burden that you've been carrying. You give it up emotionally and you give it up... Um, Something is going on around you. I wonder if for some of you, it don't, I don't feel it in all honesty. I've got to do your career reading. I'm doing a pure money reading right now, but I was just looking to see is some of it because you start a new job, but spirit is not giving me the information. So I do feel like you let your burdens go emotionally. You let your worry go. But I do feel like there's another force in your life that is forcing you into the next chapter of your life. I don't feel like you went there willingly, but I do feel like um, it's been an uphill battle for you. I do feel like it has been an emotional battle for you. I do feel like it's been a painful battle for you, but you're here now. You're at the end of it. I mean, you can't have so many tens and not have an end of a chapter in your life. 
Very interesting. I'm I'm very curious now, Sagittarius. I'm extremely curious about. Uh, I wonder if it's going to tie in. And now I'm just thinking aloud for myself. But um, I wonder if it's going to tie in to your career reading. And I wonder if it's going to tie into your love reading. I am absolutely fascinated. I am going to. I don't know why I'm fascinated. I'm not a Sagittarius, but I am. The energy is. Um, I haven't had a reading like this. I haven't had a reading like this. I'm trying to think. Spirit, have I had a reading like this for any of the signs? I haven't. I haven't had a reading where the, the end of a chapter is so strong in the energy. And so it feels like you're, you've, you, you're creating, I can't even go there because I've got to do the other readings. Anyway, sorry, Sagittarius. I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, awestruck by the energy that I'm picking up and I really am so curious about it. Um, I'm sure you know what the hell it is. I mean, it's your life, right? I'm sitting here trying to guess. I should just give you a call and ask you what the hell's going on. What's this chapter that's ending and the new one that's beginning? What book are you reading? Uh, the book of life, right? Anyway, here we have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful energy for your outcome. Completely in control of your finances. Um, I'm not saying that there is abundance flowing in, right? Don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is your energy stabilizes in regards to the, all the things that are going on in your mind about money. Um, but you're in control. Ace of, Ace of Swords, you're, um, you're in command, you're in control, and you are ready. And again, here, I just keep feeling it so strongly you are stepping into your future in a very, very, very strong way and you're leaving behind the past. So, uh, on that note, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, I'll pause there because I'm just <laughs> picking up your energy and I'm trying to see the next chapter because I'm so curious now. You know what it is like when you're reading Sagittarius? It's like watching, do you ever binge watch on Netflix or something, a series, and uh, you come to a cliffhanger and you like you have to see the next episode and so you end up watching the next 10 episodes? 10, here we go again with the bloody 10. That's what it feels like in this reading for me. It feels like, oh my God, now I gotta go do your career reading, I gotta go do your love reading. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do your career reading. I'm going to do your love reading now because I want to know what the hell happens. And I'm going to see if this energy is connected or if it comes out completely separate. Anyway, Sagittarius, um, uh, I really do appreciate you watching the reading and listening to me ramble on. Uh, please give me a like for the video. Do not give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. I mean, if you're at this point and you're still watching, I mean, that's on you, isn't it? And you didn't like it. But... Um, but uh, one of the reasons why I'm asking you for a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading being separate from Korea is because I want to understand which horoscopes, zodiac signs prefer the split reading and which ones prefer the reading to be all together. So if you can do that, if you can leave a comment also, if you, uh, that would be so helpful for me. If you can leave a comment and let me know if you preferred this you know, the finance reading being separate, and if so, how it helps you uh, in that regard. Sagittarius, this was meant to be a 10 minute reading, but I got a bit carried away with your energy there. Sorry about that. Uh, um, but guess what I'm going to do now? <laughs> I'm going to do your career reading. I will talk to you soon.